Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Memoria. We should be near the end now. Send a wish to Nuri. Uh, Nuri, can you bring me the power accumulator, please? Oh, finally. Fi, is everything all right? Oh, yes. My stiff old bones haven't felt this young in ages. Thanks, Nuri. Who are you? That doesn't matter now. Will you promise to wait for me here? All right. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, okay. I'm the Chestnut King. Something, I don't know. The I'm not thirsty right now. The accumulator doesn't have enough power left to change them back. I'll have to ask the staff to do that. Well, we have to ask the staff to do that. Into the burial chamber. It's been 450 years since I, a talking staff with no memories, kindled the light in my prison and saw a strange woman who would change my life forever. Her story began in this chamber, and between these walls we will end it together. Merhaba, Geron. Welcome. You were able to free yourself. What does all this mean? Where are we? Ask him. Indeed. Ask me. You should know that I've waited a long time for this day, and would not like to wait much longer. But if you have a great many questions... What's going to happen here? So you still haven't figured out why I sent you my memories? Why you're here? Tell me everything. It's a let's play, we have to know everything. I am here because Fahi promised to change Nuri back into a fairy if I helped him with a little riddle. No one said anything about ensouled magic staves, flying fortresses and strange dreams. Life is full of surprises, isn't it? Ha! You laugh, but I wouldn't have believed that one day someone would rescue me from my dungeon. That I was to climb mountains without legs and wrestle without arms with demons. I would have laughed if someone had told me a princess will appear to you and, despite your strange form, show you the greatest wonders of the world. Oh, how I would have laughed. Okay, but that doesn't explain why we're here. You know that Sadia and I were separated. Ah golden time together came to an end. When I finally found a way to leave the Gorian Desert, centuries had passed. I wanted to know if Sadia had done it, if she had become the great heroine she always wanted to be. I wanted to hear how her name was whispered in the streets in awe. Sadia al-Kabir, Sadia the Great, the heroine who once... But no one had ever heard of her. So I continued and expanded my search. I wanted to know what happened to her after our separation. I followed her trail back to Draconia. I found the Adept's journal and the Jinn of Times' mask. But Sanja's real fate remained a mystery to me. Finally, I met Fahi and asked him to bring me here. A man named Alric had taken her ruby from Draconia and brought it to Undergast. He sought the mask in order to bring back his deceased wife. But he found only the gemstone. Is all this really important? Oh, that was the painting of the young hunter and the woman. Go on. Why did you need the ruby? Why the mask? Why all of this? I wanted to bring together all the relics surrounding Sadja's disappearance and finally understand what happened to her. At least I would know what happened to her. She deserved that. There was only one problem. I'm terrible at riddles. That's why I needed... <laughs> experts to help me who could understand every detail who could be prepared for today prepared to do what to be able to tell Sadja's tale to the end without making a mistake does it matter how she died she's dead we can't change that you're wrong you will determine what happened to her i don't understand the garden of oblivion geron i read the journal to the end after her return Sadia went into the Garden of Oblivion and never came out again. Nothing that happens in the garden has actually happened until someone talks about it. 
outside the garden. And since Sadia has been forgotten since that day, her fate has never been told, and thus never completed. I never did understand the garden. I did. Geron, the events in the garden have no effect on the outside world, as though they never happened. Only once someone convincingly tells of those events do they become true. But if it turns out that they lied, or were mistaken, then Satanav's invisible hand punishes them for their sacrilege. That's why we mustn't make a mistake. I think I've explained enough about our wondrous meeting. Are you ready, Geron? Just a moment. At the waterfall, you promised to change Nuri Shut back up, to her dog. old form. And I will, but first, we must complete Sadja's story. What about the inscription on the burial chamber? You mean the stone and the scarab? Fahi believes that the inscription is the key to everything. But as apt as his intuition may be, in this case, he's mistaken. The riddle is apparently only a strange jotting on the margins, a random blemish on an otherwise monumental painting. There's nothing else to say about it. Mm. Sadja was taken to the burial chamber to read trivial inscriptions, and as proud as she was, she refused. That's all. What's Fahi's role in all this? Fahi is a man of many talents. He has a feeling for tales, and he's good at solving riddles. In addition, he had a wagon and a tent in which I could hide on my long journey. He is helping me solve the riddle, and in return, I protect his business from looters. That is our agreement. So he's actually harmless. <laughs> Fahi is the most harmless man I've ever met in my 3,000 years. I was sorry to petrify him, but it was the only way to save him from your fellow citizens. Why are you here, Bryder? Sadia's story doesn't have anything to do with you. So fuck off! <laughs> Geron, there's nothing left for me here. I'm a deserter. My own comrades are hunting me. This is my only refuge. Please, even if you still don't understand, let me bring it to an end. I'm sure everything will be fine again. The world will never be as fine as it once was. What if one of us ends Sadia's story and is wrong? If Satinav learns that the tale we tell can't possibly be true, then he'll make it unhappen and declare the teller guilty of sacrilege. Don't worry, Geron. We won't make a mistake. I've thought everything through very carefully. All right. Then put the mask on the bust of my old master and let us begin. Okay, let, let me make a save here real quick. That, that sounds like something where you can die horribly. Override the save, please. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Geron. Are you ready now? Yes. Let's get this over with. Thank you, Geron. Which of you will now step forward and tell the story to its end? Hmm. I'll do it. Very well. I'll now tell you of Sage's passage into the garden. As it is written in the Adept's journal, listen closely. At the end, you must tell me how the story ends. After her return from the battlefield, Sadja was only a shadow of herself. She had seen the horrors of the Nether Hells, an ocean of destruction and death. She was the only survivor, but the rest of the world did not care. Sadja's great dream had failed. She wandered the halls of Draconia like a ghost. She didn't eat. And she only slept when exhaustion forced her to. On the fourth day, a young adept saw her at the threshold to the portal. He asked her where she was going. It was cold in the mountains, and she could become lost. Whereupon she answered, I'm going to the garden to break my being. The boy immediately ran to the air adept, but help arrived too late. When they entered the garden, all that they found was the mask and Sajja's ruby next to it. There was no sign of her. Out of fear of challenging Satinav, it was decided that they would forget the incident. No one was allowed to speculate about what had happened on that day. 
The mask and the ruby were taken to Draconia. The garden was sealed, and Sadia's fate was forgotten. Until today. It's now up to you, Garon, to finish her story. But remember, one mistake, and the consequences will be terrible. I know. Sadia entered the garden. She thought briefly and looked around. She sat on the ground. She took out the mask. Then she hesitated for a moment and wondered if she was really doing the right thing. She looked into the mask and... That's why they're deployed to the stone. Yeah. And... She read the magic spell, memorized it, put on the mask and destroyed her memory. Why did you interrupt me? I was afraid you would say the wrong thing. Then she disappeared into the depths of the garden like a soulless waif and was never seen again. It is done. I had always hoped it would be otherwise, but I was mistaken. Are you crying? Of course I'm crying. My princess just died. Oh, well, I guess that's it then. That was the end just now, wasn't it? Yes. No. Since Sadia used the mask, her memories are now in the mask, and thus the true name of the Jinn of Time. What are you doing? Fadan Feskadan Esplas de Quatan, Umri Lorgras, Ferel Koran, Hil Bemotir Kerul Falan, Tuntir Katan Filontir Sodan, Nijet Himeta for Emano Iruti Veda. Ah, I've been awakened. The Jinn of Time. Tell me, child. What is your wish? I'm sorry, Geron, but there's nothing left for me in this time. As if there had ever been anything for me here. There are no heroic princesses, no ancient tombs, no flying fortresses. Only endless honor guards, latrine duty, one triviality after another. When was the golden age lost? When princesses still dreamed of battles and the world was filled with magic. I wish it was all as it used to be. Your wish is my command. Uh, Brida. That's not good. The girl is now gone. Her longing now rules over her existence. It is my task to fulfill that longing. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Hi. To extinguish the grey present and bring the past to life again. Uh, that doesn't sound like a great idea what she just did. Hi. Oh, hi. Hope I didn't cancel anything. Hello? Oh, don't crash on me! I forbid you to crash! Well! <laughs> Great! I'm kinda glad I saved. At least that's dead. Oh no. Oh. The forest is starting to change. What did she do? Geron, come quickly. I don't wanna. Coming. Whew. Geron, I've been thinking. 
That's nice, but it won't help us any. <laughs> Bryda told Sadia's story to the end. She had Sadia put on the mask and draw out all her memories in the Garden of Oblivion so that everything has now happened exactly like that. And she read out Sadia's memories with the ruby. I mean, Bryda did that. And now she's possessed by the Djinn of Time and... Calm yourself, Geron. I'm supposed to calm down? We have to do something. You're right. And we can only do something if we prove that Bryda was wrong, that Sadia did not put on the mask. You forget that there's still a part of the riddle we have not solved. The Scarab? As if a pointless riddle could save us all. Do you have a better idea? Look around. We're in a copy of the burial chamber. Perhaps you'll find the crucial clue somewhere. Bring it to me. And perhaps we can solve the riddle once and for all. Well, wait. <laughs> well, it's like the ruby that's blinking there like that. I can't go into the tomb. Not yet. The gin of oh. time would immediately tear me to pieces. Well, let's save again in case the game wants to crash again. Uh, here's the ruby. The stone that we All I about. found was the ruby. Give it to me. Giacomo Nauta told me you were an amateur mage. Is that true? Yeah, I can break things. <laughs> well, I can also do a bit of magic. If I hold something in my hand, I can catch a glimpse of its past. That was the main reason the staff chose me as his companion, you see. Now, let's see what story this stone tells. Hmm... Curious. When the ruby was found after Sadia's disappearance in the garden, it had a crack. And the reversal spell the Ore Adept had woven into it had vanished utterly. The mages had to reapply it completely. But... There's more. I see... A palace garden. And in it, two children. This is a brooch from Meng Bilma. My father gave it to me. Oh, can I see? There. And here, a ruby from the dwarf tunnels in the brazen sword. It's so beautiful. When I'm Caliph, I'll have all the treasures in Avastan gathered in my palace. Fazar will be more radiant than in the times of the great moguls. My subjects will lie at my feet for all eternity. You'll be a good ruler, Kasim. All the history books will tell of you. Ha! Do you see the sign on my arm? It's the calligraphy of my sovereignty, the sign of my dynasty. The whole world will bow before this symbol. There are great times ahead of us, Sadja. Truly great times. I see a prince and a princess playing together. He's trying to impress her. What could this mean? They were siblings or friends? I would say siblings. So Sadja and the prince really were siblings? Wait. There's more. Something's happening. A palace guard arrives. Let me go! <laughs> You're so pathetic. Isn't that how you like to be treated? Like the dog that you are. At least I have my own teeth. <laughs> you please me, Sadja, more than I had hoped. The prince is Tormenting the princess, the guard holds her tight. She's at his mercy, but why? Hmm. She's being harangued for no reason? Oh well. 
I could either carry on or end the video now, and I think I will choose the second part. <sighs> so you guys have something to look forward to the next time, where we will most likely finish this game. <laughs> Anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see each other soon. So take care and...